Uh, we've been talking about LinkedIn. So that's like the basis of this entire week is talking about LinkedIn. Every week is going to be kind of themed around a certain platform. But of course, conversation can go anywhere. Um, once we, you know, once we get the basics of something down, then we can move off from there. So you all brought all of your social media burning questions, right? Say yes. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Tell me, y'all scoot up. Y'all scoot up. Scoot forward. Come on up. Yesterday, we left off with doing a practice run, working with somebody on video. So a lot of times you can have a better video, a better conversation with somebody or a better video whenever you're having a conversation with somebody, right? Because you're a different person whenever you talk to the camera. I am too. I talk to the camera very differently than I do when I talk to you. I don't know if you've noticed that whenever I'm on video, I'm a different person and you are too. So um, yesterday we did uh, a live practice where you have a question where somebody asks you the question, you take the camera where it's like just slightly off of their view. So you're looking past your phone to talk to said person. We did that live yesterday. So we were sitting there chit chatting like this. So. Here is my camera, for example, for those of you on Zoom who are watching, I have my camera set up like this off to the side, but I'm talking to you. So you're asking me the question. Meanwhile, this is capturing me as if I'm having a conversation. It actually brings your audience in because they're like, ooh, what are you talking about? What is going on? So your audience likes that kind of stuff where somebody asks you another, asks you a question and then you respond. Less than 30 seconds, done and done. Okay, what happens, what did we learn yesterday? Whenever you think in your head it's a 30 second answer, how long is it actually? It's longer. It's longer. What you think is a 30 second answer is actually closer to a minute. So if you have it in your head, hey, I need to be able to answer this in 30 seconds, that's a great video because boom, 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 you get it done. It's really about 45 to 50 seconds. Do you know that? No? Well, now you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, who worked on that since yesterday? You should all be raising your hands and saying, yes, I did, I did. <laughs> okay, uh, let me ask you this. What's holding you back? What's holding you back on doing these videos? Be completely honest. That's what this is about. Oh my gosh, I do too. I do too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nobody thinks that it's awful whenever you post it. No, they don't, unless it actually is an awful video. If it's you sitting there, check, check, like, yeah, of course, if you're recording the video like this and you're looking up your nose like the Blair Witch Project, it's going to look terrible. But no, hold it off to the side. You look exactly like you do in person as you do on camera. Excellent. <laughs> then get out of your own head. I know, but it's easier to. Uh, Correct. It's, it's way easier to talk about putting the bell on the cat than it is to actually go put the bell on the cat if you're a mouse. It's part of uh, maybe yourself or perhaps, you know. Yeah, that was hilarious. He starts it off. He's like, I have a confession to make. I'm a virgin. I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> he's got kids. What? How does this work? So people that know him are going to be like, sorry, what? <laughs> so then he goes on to talk about, this is my first video that I've ever recorded. You know, let me know what it was like for you. What was your first time like? <laughs> okay, he had... Yeah, he was like, he was like, my feedback on it starts with the letter O. Outstanding.
standing. <laughs> that that's your humor. That's your humor coming out. People are going to know you, like you, and trust you more because they see your side of the humor. Somebody who doesn't get it, who doesn't understand your type of humor, are they supposed to be your client? Are they meant to be your client? Mm -mm. Correct. Correct. Right. <laughs> right. Well, sometimes people who live in $3 million homes love that kind of stuff. They love the jokes because people are people. doesn't matter what financial status they are. People are people. Okay. There are some, you know, very nitpicky, you know, type of people who like things very buttoned up that have a house that's this big. Mm -hmm. And there are some not as classy people that live in big giant houses as well. People are people. Doesn't matter what demographic, doesn't matter what income, what age level, people are people. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a question. Yeah. Can you uh, I'm sorry to break from you mm -hmm. uh, do you have to have the ring uh, light to do I don't mm -hmm. I've got the I have a ring light at my desk. I hardly ever use it. I've got a little attachment, it's actually at home, that it clips to mm -hmm. the top of my mm -hmm. phone. And it's not a ring light, it's just a box light. And uh, I used it the other day because uh, I was putting my face over the top of another video that I had recorded and I was bringing myself very small. So I need more light. It was all, I was also recording at night in my house. So that room doesn't have a whole lot of light in it. So yeah, I use the light. But other than that, I hardly ever do it. Hardly ever do it. If you record a video and it's too dark, I've got some tips uh, within your phone, because you have an iPhone, right? So there's some tricks within your phone for editing that we can brighten some things up and it doesn't, you know, <laughs> like it'll make like your eyes brighter. You, it'll make your teeth psychotically white. Like it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what else you got? You're posting on LinkedIn. Say yes. You can say yes. <laughs> you can also say maybe. So the question is, do you put something like that in between it on my personal Facebook or business? <laughs> So put it, put that one more on your personal page on Facebook, on Instagram. Sure, throw it on there. So if I were to follow up with something, no one knows I'm a business. I mean, you know, oh, you're a, one of those secret agents. Yes. Correct. So when I do start doing that, put it on my business page. So I'm just trying to differentiate between where I put it. So that type of video, I would put that on your Facebook personal page, not your business, not your business page. No, they're not going to see it. So how, so maybe a question for another day, why do you? Oh, no, we could totally, we're, Going up, we're rolling up our sleeves. We're going to dive into that. Okay. So his question is, how does he get, uh, make sure that the people that are on his business page see his post, that see his video? And the answer is, you got to pay for it. What meta products want is they want personal profiles they kind of don't care too much about the business pages because they figured out, oh, wait, we created this whole monster with business pages and stuff like that. Like, how can we monetize that? Well, they're advertising their business for free on our platform and we're not making money for it. So then they start charging the business pages to show their posts out, out and about in the feed. Uh, you can throw a sponsor to add together 10 or 15 bucks, have it run for a week, it'll reach 
between 300 and 1500 people. Mm -hmm. So none of those city folks are not allowed to vote like a real estate agent to be there on the person that takes the county. Oh no, totally do it. Do it. Do so, it. So what good is the business? So I'm asking what good is the business pay tax free that isn't that's a paying board and you know that the folks are trying to get to see it are seeing it on your personal tax. Mm -hmm. What I would like for you to tackle first before worrying about that. It's just <laughs> post it, just post it okay. consistently two to three times a week, post a video. So before you start worrying about, you know, where should I post it? And, you know, how do I make sure that my one video that I posted on my one business page is going to be seen? You got to fill it up with some content first. So just post it. So build up your library and then we'll worry about uh, sponsoring some posts. So Instagram and then Facebook would set up on my buffer. So one of them you have to make sure you have vertical as opposed to just because I accidentally did the display instead of display. Mm -hmm. um, and it should be 720 because one of them only took 720. No. Oh, no, that's Google. That's, that's Google. Google. Yeah, that's Google. Don't, don't worry about it. Yeah. What we can do with, because your po or your video is done horizontal, which is great. Yeah. Um, You know, because that's what, okay, video, whenever we had the camcorders, yeah. what was, how was it set up? Yeah. How was the video set up? It was horizontal. Okay. So it absolutely makes sense, you know, for you and for your generation that if your first video is sideways, because we're used to the camcorders, right? Where it's sideways or where it's, it's horizontal. Um, we can fill up the space on top and on bottom with stickers, with your captions. So you don't, yes, you can put the captions on your video itself within captions, but if we went straight into, uh, into Instagram, there, it will also put captions on there. Completely editable, everything. Captions is better about picking up like dialects. So in accents, um, and captions will actually say, hey, you know, is this American English? Is this British English? Is this, you know, there's a bunch of different accents that are in there and it'll uh, generate accordingly. Um, captions has all the little pretty movements and, you know, the colors and sometimes there are some apps or some um, formats within captions that have little, little emojis. Like if you talk about being the king of something, it'll put a crown right above the word king. So you can do that with it. That's AI reading it. And it's like, okay, uh, Evelyn said the word king. So I'm going to put a little crown right above the word king. So visually, yeah, it's cool. It's moving all over the place. It looks awesome. And then in Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok, it's just the words. But in captions, you can do all the pretty colors and fonts and et cetera, et cetera. You can do different fonts within uh, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Um, LinkedIn is starting to do uh, captions as well. But honestly, like it just looks really boring. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm going to repeat it for everybody here on Zoom too. <laughs> Yeah, that that does that. What platform are you looking? What platform are you looking at? Yeah, there's probably comments. Is that live? Is that what live is? It, it could be live. It could be a recorded video. So as you're sitting there in TikTok, what she's asking about is she's seeing like these text bubbles pop up in TikTok as she's watching this video. And it's either it's either live and people commenting and you're seeing. 
well, there's TikTok, there's Facebook, oh. Instagram, like they all have that. So they have that in some sort of way. Yeah. Yeah, and they're and they're responding to yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So they so they all have that. Yeah. So so if they're responding to it right then and there, they probably are recording it live. Okay. So it could be Facebook Live, it could be TikTok Live, and the you're whenever you're live and you're recording yourself mm -hmm. on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok Live, you will see the comments popping up. You can see how many people are watching your video at that time. Yes, you'll that's see. Mm -hmm. So that's why you'll see people say, hey, you know, give me a comment if you're here. Hey, you know, quick wave. And they'll be like, oh, hi, Sharon. I see you. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Yes, you are. If not, I'm coming after you. Yes. Yep. So what he's asking about is to get this video posted into said social media channel. That's absolutely click. Um, where you're going to do either a post or a video and um, click from the camera roll or record it live or record um, and post to stories. You can post to stories there as well. You could do uh, a regular post, say on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn. There's a bunch, bunch of different things that you can do, but there depends on what kind of video that you have. Where do you want it posted? Do you want it posted in Reels? Do you want it posted in, uh, TikTok is just going to be videos. So do you want it posted in Reels in either Facebook or Instagram? Do you want it posted as a video in LinkedIn? Do you want it to go to your YouTube, your YouTube shorts? Yeah. Yeah. What's on your mind? So you're in Facebook right now, right? Yes. Facebook, Facebook is my personal favorite because there's so many more things that you can do within Facebook that you can't do in the other channels. So Facebook is my my own personal favorite. I've been on it since December of 2005 when you had to have a .edu email address to be able to join. Oh, wow. You had to put in your college schedule into Facebook <laughs> and uh, and. From there, if you clicked on your class and other people had added that class to their Facebook, then you can find friends. You could have 12 pictures on Facebook, 12 pictures. A friend of mine took with his camera, he was real excited about his camera phone. I didn't have a camera phone at the time. So I took a, a, a Kodiak um, disposable camera and I rubber banded to the back of my Nokia like brick phone. And that was my camera phone. He took a picture of it for me as we were walking to class. And he's like, you need to put this on Facebook. I'm like, what is Facebook? <laughs> Facebook? Yeah, no, it wasn't. It was for college. Where'd you get that from? That was in the documentary. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not all about that. <laughs> we'll do this, and this is how we're going to meet. That makes sense. <laughs> Think things are clicking. I haven't seen the film, so <laughs> they do. They do. At the bottom, it says dating. I'm like, I'm not interested. How do I get this off of here? <laughs> mm -hmm. So you can buy stuff off of yeah. Facebook. 
you can find a date on Facebook. But that's that's what Meta wants. Mm -hmm. They want you using their platform for everything. They want you solely dependent on the Meta products. Workplace. If you notice, Workplace looks very similar mm -hmm. to Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What else you got? You look like you need a cup of coffee. Oh, okay, okay. Like, oh, she doesn't look like she feels too well. <laughs> yeah, I'm as well. So, with the coach that came, pull it up and pull it up. Mm -hmm. Are you going to pull it up? Mm hmm. Okay, so I have a question. If, uh, how does someone that you haven't talked to in years and all of a sudden show up in your profile? Mm -hmm. And it's like click on it and all of a sudden you're there. Because uh, you've got common interests or people be in common. Or can they look you up by name? Mm -hmm. As well, so they can look at my name. And how do they get number one? And there they are. It's like, oh, I don't know. Uh, algorithm magic. And so they can have to do that themselves. It's somehow. They probably either opened your profile or you've got uh, people in common and they're like, oh, Dominique might know Joe Schmo. So um, because they have the same, you know, mutual contact and or you've clicked on something that they've clicked on okay. and then TikTok or Instagram, they're like, hey, you might know Joe because you have things in common. And oh, guess what? You know, you entered in your same high school. So that's how they're putting really connections. Like, like, Oh, that man is obsessed with TikTok. <laughs> yes, you do. I do. Because I thought my time was like, you wouldn't or you shouldn't know who I am. So I didn't know I had TikTok. Mm, you would have had to have signed up for it. I know. I don't know. Yeah. So you have to have, I would have to have signed up for it for someone to send me something. No. So they can send you something. They can text it to you. Yes. You can click on the vid, on, click on the link that they send you and you can watch it just on your Safari or your web browser and you can watch it if it's a public video, but if it's, um, it no, oh. you're just able to watch the video. You can't respond to it. You can't comment. Well, You posted it? Yeah, we're going to stop John. Right here, live. <laughs> All right, here we go. We've got his Facebook up right here. And I'm going to scroll down. And he posted his video. Look at him. <laughs> and then it shows up where it says, hey, I'm a virgin. <laughs> oh, you totally will. Okay. Now what I would like to see you do is from your Facebook, hit the share button. Right underneath it, hit share and click add to story. Is that really, is the whole public feed? Or when he uploads his ad story? I said, said yours. Correct. Add, yep, so add to your ad stories. Or your story, that's fine. You know what happens? You're sharing Facebook and Instagram. Share, that's fine. Okay. You shared it? 
Yep. You are connected to the world now. So there it goes. So just a minute ago, he did not have a blue ring around his profile picture, but now he does. And that means that he's got a story. So we're going to check out his story. Oh, it went to your, it went to your uh, profile picture. I want to see your story. A story is going to disappear in 24 hours. Here we go. Okay, now it says view story or view profile picture. We're going to click view story. Here it is. We can, from here, we can click. If we click on it, it says view post because he posted this as a regular post because it's a horizontal long form video. Click view post. It takes you out of stories and into videos where you're now just watching his videos. So this is a way to, it's like fishing. So you send out a line into stories, get people to click on or to bite on the video that you post out on your stories because you're like, hey, you can watch the full reel here, click here. Or if you, like we just demonstrated on here where it said uh, view post, you click there, it takes them out of stories and onto your posts or onto your videos here. So this, if he had more videos here, they would all be his pictures. It wouldn't be anybody else's, it's only his. So that's a way that you can use stories as a way of fishing to get people to go to your page. Uh, go to um, at the very bottom, click on your picture again. And then at the top, click on your profile where it's going to take you to your profile. You should see a blue ring around your profile picture. A post is just a regular post. Story is going to disappear in 24 hours. And then it just disappears. It's, I use stories as a way to share the information that is permanent on my page. So I've got something that's not gonna be moved unless I delete it. I share it to my story as like another reminder. So I'll use stories, I'll use the hashtag, I, um, I see why am I, which is in case you missed it. So I'll post something as either a post or as a reel. And then the next day or two, I'll share it to my story with the hashtag ICYMI as like another reminder, because only 5% of the people that are that you're friends with on social media are going to see your first post, are going to see you post it for the first time. You've got to remind people six different ways about something before it actually clicks in their brain. So what are the different ways that you can be everywhere all at the exact same time with just one post? You do one post or one reel. A couple of days later, share it to your story. Two weeks later, share it to your story. Story disappears in 24 hours. You can totally keep reposting it. And in Instagram, you can save your, your stories to a highlight. Oh. <laughs> There's so many things. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's why I'm here. I gotta hire somebody. I'm right here. Real estate, social media terms. We can do that. So you're looking for a social media basics class. Yeah. Okay. That's the class you teach. Well, for a social media basics class, why don't we do it as one of my group huddles? No, it's supposed to be little tidbits of information. Do I expect you to absorb 100% of what I'm saying every day? No, but I don't expect you to, but I expect one little thing to click. It's not that. I actually did do, I did Facebook basics two weeks ago. 
I did it a full 45 minutes on Facebook basics. Go look at the huddle from like two and a half weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Selena huddle. Yeah. So I was talking about Facebook yeah, basics. Mm -hmm. I go over what you need to have in each individual post. I give you a checklist. So go watch that. Is it All right, get to work. All right.